On-page SEO is all about optimizing your website so that it has high quality, relevant, and engaging content on a subject. To create valuable content, you want to find ways to address users' questions, then present them in a well-structured manner to ensure users and search engines can easily access them. In this lesson, we'll highlight the different types of copy on your website that can achieve this goal, as well as the search engine optimization basics you should apply to that copy. The first is the general copy of the website that welcomes visitors and tells them about what you offer. These paragraphs should include those keywords and keyword phrases in a genuine way that makes sense to the reader, but is also helpful to those search bots. Then there's FAQs that include answers to common questions. I reference these all the time. And these can be rich in appropriate keywords. Done right, these can end up at the top of search in Google's people also ask section. Every good search engine optimization strategy needs to include a diverse set of content in blog posts, video, image galleries, and articles. These are your opportunities to target very specific keywords and phrases, giving them their own page and ability to send searchers to relevant content. Also, don't forget about case studies and reviews. This type of content can include backlinks that can be very helpful for building authority. Once you have the content, you'll need to make sure that the content is optimized for search engines. So what does that mean? You can hire an SEO expert to perform on-page SEO or just handle this yourself. To do this yourself, you'll need a solid understanding of metadata. These metadata fields are what Google references when it needs to index your website, like title and description. On your website, if SEO features are enabled, you'll see a place to write the SEO title description and subheads for the page or post. In most cases, visitors look at the page's SEO title and meta description displayed on the research result to determine whether they will click on the link and head to your website. Strategically, for the SEO title, consider putting your focus keyword at the beginning or near the start of the page title. Similarly, for the description, searchers will only see the first words and will decide whether to click on the page based on the keywords they see. Once they click the result, your subheading and content formatting will influence how long they will stay. For the copy itself, format using H1, H2, and H3 headings. Heading tags are like ranks of duty, with H1 being the most important, followed by H2, and so forth. The information on each tag relates to the main topic, although each subheading will be unique. Headings provide a great way for users to understand the information on a page logically. H1 headings include the page's target keyword to help explain what it's all about. This might be the headline on a blog page, for example. H2 headings add structure to the page, breaking up blocks of content and making it easy for visitors to understand what they'll find in that section. While H3 headings help further break up the content to make it more scannable. Though headings might not make or break your SEO efforts, they do help search engines understand what's on the page and they enhance the user experience, keeping visitors on your site, which helps with SEO. Right. And while you are optimizing the content, don't forget to optimize images and media. It's important to make visual content like images and videos search friendly. Search engines crawl for relevant content, and that includes images. Add image alt tags. Give your image a file name and alt text, including keywords if relevant that accurately describes it. Also, include video transcripts. You also need to make videos more accessible to search engines. Help them understand what the video is about by including target keywords and links to related content on your site. Now, we know all of this can be a lot of work when you set everything up initially. Once strategies are in place though, continuing to add content should just follow best practices. With that in mind, however, search algorithms change and new content that competes with your rankings are added daily. Search engine optimization is not a set and forget effort. A qualified SEO expert can help you stay on top of this and tweak strategies when things do change. That's right, often search engines give preference to current and freshly updated content as they want to provide up-to-date and relevant information to users. Make sure you keep your content fresh and even rewrite based on new keyword information you discover over time. And schedule a few hours each month to review your content for outdated material and update accordingly. One big factor that helps with staying current is having other businesses and web pages stay current on your behalf. That is the point of off-page SEO. Our next lesson and last stop on tactics to increase your website search ranking.